Did you ever think about why we use Python for data science and machine learning? Because all these computationally expensive operations might be more suitable for more performant languages like C and C++. But here's the thing, because many people don't realize that all of these libraries that we use for data science and machine learning actually use C and C++ under the hood, and they have a Python wrapper on top. For example, NumPy, which is the foundation. NumPy is the most important library that helped Python become the most relevant language for data science and machine learning. If we look at the NumPy GitHub page, we're going to see that almost 40% of it is written in C and C++. And Pandas, even if it's all Python, is based on NumPy. And the heavy lifting is also done by NumPy. And TensorFlow, for example, is mostly written in C++, more than 60%. And PyTorch as well is written more than 50% in C. So whenever you hear people say that Python is too slow, don't think about it, because Python is not optimized for performance. Python is optimized for other things, and the most important thing is ease of use, because it's relatively easy, and I'm saying relatively because there is still a learning curve, it's relatively easy to learn compared to C and C++. Python is easy to read, Python is easy to write, and that of course, if you know what you're doing. But overall, I think Python became the de facto language for data science and machine learning for a reason. And also, data science and machine learning became so widespread, and that's why people get on this hype train, because Python is more easy to learn than if data science would have been mostly done in C and uh, C++ or Java and, uh, and other languages. I think the choice in language is very important for a field to succeed and data science and machine learning definitely succeeded. Therefore, Python was the best choice that they could have made. And basically the industry made, it's not like somebody just made a choice, but Python became easy to learn and therefore it became the de facto language. Leaving this aside, the ease of use, which is a very important aspect, when we need performance, the, the libraries that we use on a daily basis, right, for data science and machine learning, all of them, right, TensorFlow, Scikit-Learn, NumPy, all of them use C and C++ under the hood. So for all of these complicated operations, we still can leverage uh, those languages so that they are optimal and performance so that, we, so that everything runs smooth. You see, with Python, we get the best of both worlds. We get good productivity because we can write code faster and we get performance when we need it. Of course, because we're using the libraries that use more performant languages under the hood. Think about it. Most of the tasks that we perform on a day-to-day -day basis for data science and machine learning aren't that computationally expensive. Most of the time we spend around data cleaning and data pre-processing to get the data in shape to be used by a machine learning algorithm. And for the more complex tasks that require more computational power, we use libraries that use C and C++ anyway. There may be other points to make around this. But the whole principle of it is that we use Python because of its ease of use. And whenever we need performance, we have our base in libraries that use C and C++. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content. And I'll see you in the next one.